Today we're gonna to be working in a program called Moment. It's an app you can download for your iPhone. This series is about using an iPhone to create your video content for YouTube. I'm not trying to exclude any sort of Android users. I'll be doing those videos as well. I just happen to have gotten a new iPhone 11, which is awesome. So I downloaded five apps. I have another video about those five apps. Go check it out here and you can see and download those apps. Those are the ones that you need to make your little camera into a massive video production powerhouse. So today, drum roll please, today we are gonna look at an app called Moment. It's like a moment in time, so precious. Ah, anyway, what Moment is, it's like uh, Filmic Pro. If you guys have heard of Filmic Pro, it is a great app for download on your iPhone. And I believe it's also available for Android that you can manually control all the things in your camera settings. So it makes it great for video, great for making things look cinematic. You're able to control the exposure, the aperture, the shutter speed, you name it, you can control it. So that's why these are awesome to have. But I found a new one called Moment that I downloaded and I've really kind of fallen in love with. So this is what this video is about. I'm gonna give you the basics, guys. This is just the basics. We'll make more videos and get deeper into it, but this is just the basic setup. Put the settings at the best you can and it'll give you a way to start shooting some awesome video that we can then take into one of the other apps called Enlight Video Leap, which is super awesome. That is what I actually made this video with. Actually, the stuff that I'm talking about is how I actually made the video I'm talking in right now. So if you want something that looks similar to this, you can do it with just an iPhone and about mm, 30 bucks, 20, 30 bucks worth of apps total. And you're good to go. You got some powerhouse abilities to put out some amazing content. So let's get into it. This is Moment. Okay, so this is the app that I personally like right now, and it's called Moment. Let's open it up. Um, as you can see, this is uh, the back of my computer over here in the garage. Anyway, um, when it opens up, it's going to have a default uh, camera, but you can also select video, or you can also select uh, this kind of uh, slow shutter, so you can do kind of a motion blur kind of effect. Um, I'm not going to really go into those right now. On this video specifically, I'm just going to talk about the video. So put it on video. Um, over here to the left, uh, one in is the settings. Go ahead and click that open. We're going to turn on a couple things. Uh, you can turn on location if you want. I don't really tend to do that, um, but you can do that. Um, the first thing I tell you to do is turn on a grid. Um, you can go for the thirds, which looks like that, which gives you your rule of thirds. So try to place subjects where the lines meet and you usually get a pretty good composition. So like if you were to, let's say, do that, that looks a lot better than maybe that. You know, that just has a little bit more composition. Anyway, that's what you use those grids for. I personally like actually the golden ratio grid which um, I'll do another video on golden ratio, but that, it just has a little bit, it's a little bit more shallow. So um, you can still get what you want and it still kind of gives you a good composition. Anyway, uh, also in the settings, after we've turned on our grid, um, I would suggest, I use this a lot, is adding some shortcuts to Siri. So um, like to open it up, you can say open cinematic video and you can add that to Siri. Um, you can also start shooting, it opens the app, and then there is another one uh, to trigger the shutter. So that way, if you have your you know, phone set up someplace, you can just say, uh, hey Siri, trigger shutter, and it's gonna do that. So anyway, set those up as well. Um, and then also, if you have some sort of uh, Bluetooth headset, AirPods work as well, and you wanna get a little bit better sound, Go ahead and click into the Bluetooth devices and you should pop up in here if you have one available. Um, you can also control an Osmo 
tripod with its app as well through this. So um, if you have one of those, like a gimbal, you can connect that as well. It looks like that. Anyway, uh, let's go back. Um, uh, let's see what else do I do. The focus peaking, make sure that's on. The histogram, make sure that's on so that way we can see what's going on. Um, I haven't played around with highlight clipping yet and shadow clipping. I'll probably do another video with that. Um, next below, we definitely want to do this. The standard image format. When you first open it up, it's going to be using JPEG, um, which is fine. Uh, it just doesn't have as much detail as a high efficiency uh, one. So I usually put the HEIF uh, for right now. Um, and I put the process photo quality um, at all the way at quality because I want quality versus speed. Um, for my video settings, leave it at the H264. Turn on the stabilization. It most likely was off. Make sure that that's turned on. Uh, leave the frame rates at NTSC. Uh, you can leave the bit rate fine. Uh, and then leave these bottom three on so you can see the waveforms, your audio levels, and the histogram. Okay. Um, apply to squeeze to save. That's fine. Leave all that other stuff on. Okay. Everything else should be fine. We can go back now into the app. So this is the app. Um, depending on how you're shooting, most likely you're shooting video sideways. I'm sure that you're probably now seeing this like side upside down. So let's just imagine it's just this way for right now. Cause maybe we're shooting something for an Instagram story. Um, basic controls on the top over here, you have, uh, your kind of flash uh, that you can turn on and off. You can have a light. So you have a little bit of a video light if you need, um, which will help. Um, you can turn that off. Uh, right now, it's at the default setting for um, your style of photo. I want to keep it either at flat, but my personal choice is log. And what log will allow your video to do is give you the maximum uh, range uh, to pick up. So that way, later on, I'll process this. Um, actually, in another uh, program on my phone that's called... Uh, N light video leap, which is an amazing program. I've been really getting into that one and we're going to go over that in a second. But, uh, anyway, so we have the log, leave it at log. Um, the next one over here is the resolution. You can do 4k, um, 720p or 1080p. We'll leave it at the 4k. That's fine. You can also change the, uh, frames per second. So you can do 30 frames, 24 frames, 48 frames, 60 120 oh i think i got that on 4k if you have it on uh 1080p i think you can get all the way up into the slow mos so let's see yeah you have to have it at 1080p to get into the 120 frames per second and the 240 frames per second so maybe we'll leave it at 1080p for right now if we want to do slow mo but um in general i'll leave it at the 24 frames per second regardless if it's at 1080p or at 4k i know you're probably going to i don't know what that is but 4K is maximum resolution and 1080p is old school by like five years. So, um, but still looks amazing on YouTube. So it's still high definition guys. Anyway, um, over here on the far right, what you have is if you have lenses that are attached, you can kind of hit the macro. It will adjust for you. But since we don't have any lenses, don't worry about that. So now down here, we have a little histogram area so we can see what's going on. As you can see, it'll change as I move around. It's going to pick up different things. And so uh, this is great to know where you're at as far as like exposure and what's really kind of popping out and what's not. Um, to the right, you have your selfie switch around button, which is uh, right there. And I'm just going to selfie switch around. It just flips around the camera just like your normal camera. And then uh, below that, you can switch to your wide angle. So you can go wide angle or the regular lens. Um, I've been liking the wide angle a lot personally, but I think it looks kind of cool on video. It just kind of has that kind of cool vibe. Anyway, below that, we have our main area. So you have your shutter speed. Um, you want to keep this, if you're shooting video at 24 frames, you want to just double that. So we're going to leave it at 148. Um, then on uh, 148, um, the ISO, 
Um, you can choose whatever that is. You can bring down the ISO if you want and kind of just like you would on a camera. So that's going to be your light sensitivity. Um, it kind of has a nice look to it and I can kind of still keep some of the definition. Um, next is your exposure. So you can overexpose it by a little bit or you can underexpose it. Um, that is up to you and your style preference. But let's get this back to zero. It's usually good just to leave it at zero. Um, you have your autofocus, and you also have your auto white balance. So this will make sure that everything is looking right. You can you know change, adjust it whether it's cooler, warmer, daylight. Um, I usually just want to let's leave it at thirty four hundred. That looks pretty good. Um, Okay, down here in the bottom right, this is your access to, you know, the videos you've been shooting, your camera roll. You can click back by clicking that little camera in the top. You have your settings, which we already looked at, which is the next button over. And that's where you can set everything that we talked about earlier in the video. Um, the main record button right in the middle. And then your presets. The presets are pretty awesome. You can create your own presets, but I like cinematic video personally. It looks awesome it'll give you a nice tone throughout and you can kind of play with the settings from here but i really like that preset and then other than that you have your audio uh meter down here at the bottom so you see what is going on as far as your gain and everything else so this is the app guys i'm going to recommend to you please go check it out